Again with breaking news in Jefferson Parish. Yeah, firefighters are on the scene of a two alarm fire on Lynn Mead Road on the West Bank. WGNO's Amy Russo is there live with the very latest. Amy, what can you tell us? Well, Steph, Tamika, like you said, we're here in the 500 block of Lynn Mead Road in Gretna. We're joined by Sheriff Lapinto and Chief Robertson, who are going to give us a quick look into what happened here today. You guys, what's going on? Thank you all for all coming today. Uh, very, very unfortunate news here in the 500 block of Lynn Mead. Uh, we had a fire dispatched here earlier today. Our, our Not only our deputies, but fire service were on scene within two minutes of, of being dispatched today. Uh, we were able to get here, but found a house that was uh, really engulfed in flames at that point in time. Uh, they started fighting the fires. You can see a, a lot of the apparatus that are here with their trucks. Uh, unfortunately, uh, three victims were inside this. Uh, we have a 15-year-old, a 7-year-old, and a 3-year-old. A uh, 15-year-old has been pronounced dead here on the scene. The 7-year-old and 3-year-old uh, were both un uh, unresponsive when they were pulled out of here. Uh, we transported them to the hospital, but they have also succumbed to those injuries uh, here in the fire. So we've got three uh, you know, juveniles that are, are dead here in this fire. Uh, our, our investigators with our arson division, not that we ex expect arson, but our arson divisions here working with Jefferson Parish Fire Services on the investigation itself along with the fire marshal's office who's been notified and are also arriving here on scene uh, so we don't really have any answers on the cause of fire yet uh, that, that's something that will come from it uh, obviously the family's been notified over at the hospital uh, but we'll, we'll try to get some answers for you soon but really sad situation that we 15 year old have. a male or you know, I, I believe it's a female, but to be honest with you, I don't know the sex of all the juveniles. I didn't ask that question, but I think the 15-year-old is a female, from what I understand. Don, do you know the answer? No, we don't. We'll get that to y'all. Yeah. Why do you suspect arson? What is, what no, you I, I won't say we suspect arson. I mean, our uh, arson division is the one that comes and investigates any fires from that standpoint, but, but I can't say I suspect arson at this time. It's just our arson division that, that comes out to an, the, the investigation. Chief, um, do you think it was an electrical fire? Uh, you know, it's, it's hot outside, so I wouldn't think anyone would have, like, heaters on. Just like Sheriff Lepinto said, it's way too early. The investigators have just arrived. We'll get back with y'all as we get closer to the cause of this scene, the cause of the fire. And this is all one family? Uh, from what I know, yes, it's all one family, and the, the three juveniles are for one family. Can you talk about just the response to the different agencies that are here? You know, uh, you know, both you have Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office and, and Fire who are here, as I said, within two minutes of dispatch time. So we're here very quick. Um, you know, at that moment, didn't necessarily know anybody was inside, but but obviously as they were fighting the fire, located the individuals. Uh, we have EMS that was here on scene to have a transport. Our agencies ended up blocking off the roads for the two juveniles that were transported to the hospital itself. Fire marshal service is here now. Uh, we had one firefighter that was injured uh, from a back injury, uh, not smoking you know, back injury uh, that was treated here on scene. I don't think he was transported, but but I think he was treated here on scene. Uh, so no injuries to the the first responders on scene, but uh, you know we'll we'll deal with that. How long did it take to contain the fire? I don't I'll get those, that information for y'all. I'll give it back. The Terrytown Fire Department was the initial company here. They struck a second alarm, which brought in the Davy Crockett Fire Department and the Harvard Fire Department. Was anyone else in the home at the time? I don't believe that, no. And you said it started about when? Give me one second. I can tell you uh, the item was created at 931, dispatched a fire at 932, uh, both police and fire on scene at 935. Sheriff, do you all know at this time if a neighbor called in the fire or if one of the children called I'm in sure the fire? my investigators know that, but I don't know the answer to that question. Do you know that? I Steve? don't. I don't. Why, do you know why those kids were at home alone on a Friday? No, I don't know yet. yet. Uh, you know, we'll certainly uh, talk to the parents and figure that out. Uh, I don't know the answer to that question yet. I have not. Uh, I know the parents are at the hospital. We have uh, dispatched our chaplain service over there to them, uh, you know, but, I'm, uh, but I have not spoken to them yet. So, two alarm was the highest alarm this Yes, ma'am, it was a two alarm fire. All right, thank y'all. We'll thank get you some more information when thank we can. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Sheriff. 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 All right, Amy, thanks so much. Unfortunate incident, mm. but we will be following that story and get updates later on. Uh, thanks so much, Amy.